Okay, so I was looking on the SBC Gaming thread on Reddit the other day and uh, it came up with an unofficial uh, or unsupported development build of RetroPie uh, and the version was 4.5.7 uh, but when I looked underneath on one of the comments uh, it said there was a, a more relevant updates uh, and I looked through it and I saw reference to 4.5.8 but I couldn't find it so all I did was I just changed the 7 to an 8 uh, copied it into my browser and it downloaded. So this is 4.5.8, it's unofficial, uh, but it, apparently it's from the official RetroPie team. So let's have a look at it. So here it is booted up. Uh, now I've plugged in a USB stick, my normal RetroPie USB stick, uh, and I put, uh, in some cases, just a single ROM from each uh, system to try it out. Uh, and I put probably about 20 or 30 different systems uh, with ROMs, but only a certain amount have shown up. Obviously, again, this is not a final build. Um, it's a sort of work in progress, but you can see various things are supported. The PlayStation work, one works really well, uh, but let's start with, say, Super Nintendo. I'm using a wired Xbox controller. It's a nice, clean interface. Um, it's, uh, there's no skins or anything on this, so you're getting it sort of stock. There you go. And so you can see from a speed point of view, no issue at all. It, the graphics look pretty decent. Again, it's Super NES. Oh. There you go. Now, I've set it up that I use the Xbox button start and select to, rest, uh, uh, to exit or go back to the menus. So uh, the Spectrum, I couldn't get to work properly. It wasn't seeming to recognize my keyboard. Uh, I haven't tried to configure anything. I'm, I'm deliberately doing it that uh, I'm, I'm showing things that work straight out. The, the arcade, I couldn't get it to work. I tried three different systems uh, and they didn't work. And I tried with, with various different ROMs uh, and it wasn't recognized. Uh, Game Boy Advance works straight out the bat. So no configuration or, or messing about with anything, literally just the ROMs in the right RetroPie folder, so in this case the GBA folder uh, on my memory stick, uh, and it all works. And you can see it's very snappy. There's a speed up button as well. Oh yeah, there is a speed up button. Uh, and this is a good game if you haven't tried this. Kuro Kuro Kurukanin, something like that. Uh, and it gets very difficult as time goes on and lots of different, so if I, pr oh, oh. <laughs> right, okay. I think you have to do this bit a bit slower. So you basically, it always rotates. And so you've got to use the rotation and the joypad in the right order. There you go. So let's not show too much of that. Quit back to the menu. Sega Master System. Oh, oh, I pressed a button. Okay, I didn't need to press a button. So again, I haven't had to configure or change or do anything with this. It's just working straight away. And you can see everything seems to work very well. Um, I did apply my uh, 1080 patch, which actually was suggested um, in the Reddit thread. Oh. Um, so I've, I've applied that and I've also done my usual overclock to two gig. But as you can see, it's working fine. And have I got, yeah, I've got that move there as well. So what else have we got? We've got uh, Mega Drive. I could have picked a different style of game, but uh, I do quite like these sort of size. Ah, oh, press the button again. That's me. Impatience. So you can go in and configure it. So if you find something that isn't working properly, obviously you can mess about with it. But for the purpose of this video, as I say, I just wanted to to show things that were working without any adjustment. Because sometimes it's nice when it's just easy. Right, start button.
There you go. So you can see, I was trying to do one of the moves. One of the grab ones. Yeah. And I think there's one where you can cartwheel over them, or am I thinking of a different game? Anyway, you can see this works nice and fast. Graph oh, that's a new move. Oh, can't do it again. There you go, so Mega Drive or Genesis. Nintendo 64 and PlayStation, the last two. I'll just go through the menu system uh, just to show you what there is. Audio, Bluetooth, configuration. There's lots of things you can do to uh, control and set up. You can see Retro Arches in there, Retro Pi setup, and so on. So let's go back. And we'll do, I'll say PlayStation till last because it was the best one in this. Um, so the N64 is a bit of a mixed bag. Uh, Destruction Derby is something that I found, uh, or Derby, is something that I found doesn't always work very well on N64 emulators. Uh, it's, I've tried it on all sorts of things and it tends to run slow and it tends to have audio issues as well. Uh, and this is no exception. Uh, some of the other games, I think you, you just have to pick your games on N64 as to what's going to run. So you can hear already the audio is a bit skippy. But I did find this ran... <laughs> and isn't it like it at the moment? Better than anything else I've tried it on on the Pi 4. So I found this, this game can be incredibly slow and it, and it looks like it'd be actually quite nice gameplay. I liked it on the PlayStation. So this bit's slow. And it, and it maybe is some sort of weird audio thing that slowed it down, because actually once you start moving, yeah, I know it's not fast, but it does tend to speed up a bit, and it has been incredibly slow uh, before now. So you can see that it's not really playable because it's a bit too slow, but it's attempting to see it speeding up a bit then. So if there's any, oh, if there's a way is it better because it's in the tunnel there? Because that, that's starting to feel more sort of responsive and somewhat near playable, but still not, not enjoyable in that state. So let's quit back out and go for, I thought Jeremy McGrath, I tried Mega Man 64, seems to work all right, but it's not, I didn't particularly like it. As a, oh, wrong button. Uh, so Jeremy McGrath. And there might be some more uh, N64 emulators which I haven't tried. Uh, I might try that in a, in a later video or just have a mess around uh, and see if there's anything that can be improved on that. It all seems to be, my screen capture device seems to be capturing all the way through, which is good. So it seems to be keeping the resolution at 1080 all the time just on how it's outputting it. Obviously the games, you know, some of these games don't run anywhere near 1080. But they're all... Everything so far has been full screen. Again, audio issues. This is probably something that can be changed. And I think this probably should be a bit smoother. Uh, I'm trying to think if I've tried it on something else and I'm, I'm sure it was smoother, unless I'm thinking of another motocross game. Doesn't seem to be very slow though, does it? Bit jerky as well, isn't it? Oh, oh that's not good. <laughs> I've done it again. I don't know, it just doesn't, it doesn't seem to be, maybe it's missing some frames or something and it doesn't seem to be as responsive as I want it to be. You all, yeah, I keep overshooting. It doesn't doesn't have any subtlety to it, and I think that probably is just that it's that it's not running it properly. Now we're catching that. Yeah, I just seem to bounce around from one side to the other. I'm using the analog stick. No, I'm using the digital pad because the analog I found even worse. So maybe a bit of work needs to be done on that. Again, this is just an early build, so. Let's go to the save the best till last uh, and PlayStation. So 
yeah, straight out, this played really well. So let's go with Gran Turismo first. And I've had trouble running this on another video. I can't remember what system it was, but uh, if you look back through my uh, playlist of, of Pi content and just search for PlayStation 1 or PS1, you'll find that this was running really weirdly and, and um, the car was all over the place and the physics were wrong and everything. But uh, I tried this yesterday and it was good. Although we have a frozen light, which didn't happen yesterday. It's all right, still running. There we go, let's just change the angle. What have we got, the furthest out one? Yeah, I thought this played, oh, the road's ending. I thought this played all right. Don't know what brake is yet. Let's try that, is that brake? Yeah, my brake light's coming on, aren't they? Oh, oh slippy. But the physics seem to be working all right. The graphics look as they as they do, I think. It's that sort of grainy PlayStation 1 look, which can be, with different emulators, you can smoothen that out. So that's Gran Turismo. <laughs> Woo do a little 180. Uh, and then let's save the best till last. Dave Mirror, the game you've all been waiting for. Okay, so here we go, Dave Mirror on the PlayStation 1. And as you can see, it's working as it should. The graphics look right, the controls are good, nice and responsive. It tends to be doing what it should be doing. Uh, now, this is pretty much my favorite game of all time. Uh, and the Dreamcast version is the best version, although very hard to emulate this because it always tends to run too fast on the Dreamcast version. But I recently got uh, a PS2. I used to have an Xbox One, an original Xbox back in the day, and uh, Dave Mirror wasn't very playable on that because they got the D-pads wrong. Uh, the digital pad on the Xbox original controller just wasn't very good. Bash. Um, so the, I've actually refound the, the PS2 version, and it's great. It runs really well. The level design isn't as good as the original Dave Mirror, but... Uh, but it does run really well, the graphics are nice, and uh, I'm gonna go back through and play that, but on the PS2, and it's great. So that was uh, RetroPie 4.5.7, I think, I'm not looking at it, uh, and I changed it to 4.5.8 on the downloads because uh, it was mentioned that there was a, a newer version. So you could try 4.5.9, or really fill your boots and go for 5.0.0 and see if there's a build from the future. Who knows, it might be the final one and you could be the first to try it. Oh, that's nice. That's more the game than the, uh, than the emulation. Anyway, hope you like this. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.